along with the many other unexplainable feats, undoubtedly left by a highly advanced, highly capable lost civilization. There are the countless examples of extreme precision stone cutting. Not only is this remarkable past capability visible in their many stone walls and fortresses alike, but also in their exquisite artwork. If we look upon the statues of ancient Egypt, for example, the symmetry, along with the proportional precision present within their statues, is not only perfection personified, but unquestionably far too advanced for the so-called academically claimed builders to have achieved. According to the academics, along with their subsequent supposed accurate writings, these extraordinary feats of artistic perfection were somehow created by a group of individuals who were merely equipped with copper tools. Not only is this claim clearly ignorant of reality, but to create such works of symmetrical accuracy was unquestionably the work of a group of individuals far more advanced than even that of the Victorians, let alone those who thrived along the banks of the Nile more than 3,000 years ago. Not only is this precision present along the Giza Plateau, but it is also found at ancient sites all around the world. Masterfully created statues and structures, often carved straight out of stone bedrock, with such vision and artistic prowess that many now presume that the individuals capable of such feats must have had advanced machinery at their disposal. Most of ancient India, for example, is created with such delicacy and exactness that we today could only accomplish the same with the utilization of modern machines. Furthermore, many scholars and independent researchers, even a number of highly recognized academic Egyptologists, have reluctantly concluded that many of the basalt, gypsum, and other vases shaped from extremely hard stones, and indeed a number of multi-ton sarcophagus lids, were indeed turned into the shapes we see them as today, on some kind of ancient, enormous lathe. This conclusion is made regardless of the fact that to create such enormous stoneworks on a lathe would have undoubtedly been out of the realms of capabilities for those who are currently claimed as their creators. Not only do the ornamental artifacts of Egypt and much further afield strongly indicate machined working, but there is also overwhelming evidence of these same machines reminiscent of modern stone cutting equipment present all over the world. Yet, conveniently, it is quietly ignored by the same individuals who have supposedly unraveled the history of these sites. Puma Panku, Giza's basalt floor, other areas throughout Giza, Peru, Malta, the list goes on. All these sites not only indicate an advanced, highly capable constructor, but also possess countless marks that, as of yet, we can only explain logically as having been left by precision, quick-rotation, stone-cutting machinery. They are yet another overwhelming collection of evidence, which not only flies in the face of current academic explanation, but proof of an advanced, now lost civilization having once been responsible for these sites' construction. They are highly compelling. Our mission over the next few videos is to demonstrate why certain individuals that are currently attempting to claim ancient ruins we so often share on our channel where the work of academia's claimed constructors are not only vastly incorrect, but that they are also being selectively ignorant we intend to demonstrate the reasons why this explanation as to their origins is a virtual impossibility, and also prove the level of advanced knowledge needed to construct them evades even our modern civilization. Roman and Greek civilizations undoubtedly contributed tremendous amounts to modern life, be it their technologies or building techniques. Architectural designs and ideas incorporated into structures that have survived millennia. However, there are many anomalous aspects of their academically claimed ruins that not only demonstrate unbelievable skill and precision, but are so advanced as to evade our own current understanding. One of these defining characteristics is undoubtedly polygonal masonry. 
randomly shaped or possibly cast stones, with some for example found within Sacsayhuaman, reaching far into hundreds of tons, masterfully fitted together, constructed into walls and fortresses, with no utilization of mortars. These often enormous megalithic blocks somehow placed together so perfectly that not only have they survived countless millennia, but are also earthquake-proof. These stone walls are a demonstration of what can be achieved if one had an astonishing intellect and indeed stone-building capabilities. These walls simply evade modern human explanation. No modern or indeed any of the well-studied ancient civilizations have ever demonstrated anything even near to the levels of refinement exhibited within these ancient walls, found all over the globe, yet ignored by academics the world over. How can certain individuals claim that academia's tale of events be accurate, yet seemingly overlook such astonishing feats of ancient engineering? How can one be expected to believe that the cultures currently claimed as having been responsible for such constructions, did indeed complete such tasks, when they are, in reality, too advanced an undertaking even for our own modern civilization. As such, continuing to evade explanation. We feel that many of these individuals are merely towing a line rather than attempting to unravel that which they perceive as enigmatic and considerably controversial to their current supposed viewpoint. We feel there is no excuse for a diligent researcher to overlook these achievements when investigating such sites, or indeed attempting to unravel the secrets of our past. We also feel that if one attempts to explain away such sites, or merely overlook such features in favor of academic explanation, it is an indication of conspiratorial motives rather than that of an honest purveyor of discoveries. There are many unexplained features of the ancient world, many of which we intend to share over the coming videos, and if one merely wishes to convey an illusion of all-knowing, they are soon to become unstuck just like the academia they so mindlessly follow and we so vehemently disagree with. Due to these deliberate twisting of the facts, they are undoubtedly highly compelling.